Hello, hello, Billy Carson here popping in one more time. Let me put on my better ones so I can see a little bit better. All right. How y'all doing? I'm coming on live one more time. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> uh, trying to go live without any latency issues. So, and while we're on here, I'm going to be talking about the origins of positive affirmations. Okay, that's the topic for today. The origins of positive affirmations. And uh, while we're, you know, while we're just getting started here, I want to make sure that this chat is working properly. Uh, can you guys hear me? How's my sound quality and how is my image quality? Am I, um, am I consistently streaming or is there any, are there any dead stops? I'm trying to see in the chat here. Okay. I'm going to run over to the chat. Just make sure that we are doing good before I start. Let me just check it right now. Can you see the chat? Okay. Sounds good. So far, so good. Sounds good. Okay, great. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Perfect. Okay, guys. So basically, the origins of positive affirmations. Okay, so we're going to talk about the ancient god named Mayat. M A A T. Mayat is actually the pronunciation. She was the wife of Thoth, both the Atlantean priest king. He actually built a pyramid in her honor. And that pyramid is at Teotihuacan, and that is in New Mexico. I'm sorry, that is in uh, Mexico, at the Teotihuacan complex. So at Teotihuacan, you have uh, you have the the three major pyramids pyramids there. The pyramid of the moon, the pyramid of the sun, are the two major ones. The pyramid of the moon, Thoth built for his wife Mayat, and that's actually eight pyramids. So the Pyramid of the Moon is eight pyramids stacked on top of each other, in case you didn't know. He used a fractal architectural uh, type of a construction technique to stack eight pyramids all together on top of each other. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, Thoth talks about and uses the number eight a lot in a lot of his writings, his stories. And now we know in the physical reality, in the case of this Pyramid of the Moon that he built for his wife, Mayot. She's the wife of Thoth. She's a goddess of justice. The ostrich feather is in her hair. That's how you can identify her. She helped at the weighing of the heart. And she's a goddess, goddess of truth and harmony. Notice that Thoth uh, refers to his wife as a goddess and not as a queen. A queen is a term, if you go back in time to analyze the name queen, it really means the king's whore. And so instead of using that term, the better way or the more proper way to address a woman would be goddess. OK, mm -hmm. just in case you didn't know. <laughs> <clears throat> now, Mayot refers to both the ancient and Egyptian concepts of truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, justice and personification of concept concepts as a goddess. And she's also known for regulating the stars, seasons, and the actions of both mortals and the deities who set the order of the universe from chaos to the moment of creation. So we're talking about a powerful woman, powerful goddess, that has influence over people of power. That's really what all that means. She had a lot of, in that time frame, in that era, she had a lot of influence on people of power. And so one of Mayotte's famous quotes is, know thyself, know thy soul, know thy heart, and know thy purpose. Mayotte is the concept of truth, justice, law, integrity, uprightness, correctness, righteousness, steadfast, 
unalterable, reality, order, stability, continuity, equilibrium, balance, measurement, and reciprocity. That's what she is known for. May, which is the beginning uh, of the name, M-A-A, uh, stands for the concept of right, true, real, genuine, upright, righteous, just, and authentic. And then you have morality, karma, dharma, uh, which is all really the same thing. And her personified names are May, Mayet, Mat, Mut, Amas, Mayat, Mait, Mayet, and Mut, depending on which part or region of Africa or the Middle East that you are from or they were from in that time. In Greek, she's known in the Greeks as Matisse, Dyke, and Theus. Those were the names that the Greeks had given her. And so you probably heard of the 42 ideals of Mayotte. Now, this, this is the, uh, the text where a lot of uh, interesting religious contexts come from in regards to how to live on this planet. Uh, you know, they're called commandments and also positive affirmations that you can speak out loud to yourself. And these positive affirmations are just as powerful as any of the ones that we use today. These are some of the original positive affirmations. And what scientists found now is that if you say positive affirmations out loud to yourself for 21 days, you literally can rewrite your DNA. So if you're a person that's talking negative to yourself, if you're talk, doubting yourself, if you're saying, I'm no good, I suck, and you're doubting and you're, and you're really, um, really is what you're doing is you're cursing yourself when you're doing those things. You're telling yourself that you can't do something. Okay. You got to take that T off the end and say can. And so when you say these positive affirmations, if you're able to read these positive affirmations out loud for 21 days, three times a day. What you're going to find is a couple of things. The first thing is your outlook on life, yourself, and other people is going to change. Uh, the next thing is you're going to become more um, confident. Confidence is going to build and grow in your own personal self and your own personal experiences and what you're capable of doing. And the third thing that's going to happen is you're going to literally rewrite your DNA. And that rewriting of the DNA, it takes out and starts to clip out a lot of the epigenetic memories that have been stored from past ancestors that were had different types of um, um, torturous mental states uh, of, of PTSD, of enslavement, of fears and hurts and doubts. All of those get passed down through the RNA into the body and write themselves in as code. And so by saying these positive affirmations three times a day out loud, you begin to cut out and clip out those pieces. There's a whole workshop where I do that shows the science behind this, and it's real peer-reviewed science. This is stuff that they teach at MIT, one of the top technological universities on the planet, okay? So we're going to go through the 42 ideals of Mayotte. I'm going to actually read these right now uh, out loud, um, and uh, we're going to, uh, well, today I can't really send you one. Usually I send this out to my people. But you can also, you can look these up and you can actually download them and then you can keep a copy in your phone, okay? So the 42 ideals of Mayotte. I honor virtue. I benefit with gratitude. I am peaceful. I respect the property of others. I affirm that all life is sacred. I give offerings that are genuine. I live in truth. I regard all altars with respect. I speak with sincerity. I consume only my fair share. I offer words of good intent. I relate in peace. I honor animals with reverence. I can be trusted. I care for the earth. I keep my own counsel. I speak positively of others. I remain in balance with my emotions. I am trusted in my relationship. I hold purity in high esteem. I spread joy. I do the best I can. I communicate with compassion. I listen to opposing opinions. 
I create harmony. I invoke laughter. I am open to love in various forms. I am forgiving. I am kind. I act respectively of others. I am accepting. I follow my inner guidance. I converse with awareness. I do good. I give blessings. I keep the waters pure. I speak with good intent. I praise the goddess and the God. I am humble. I achieve with integrity. I advance through my own abilities. I embrace the all. Those are the 42 ideals of Mayotte. Powerful, powerful stuff. If you can get a copy of this, you can probably find it on Google online. Just, just basically type in 42 ideals of M-A-A-T, Mayotte. And you should be able to go to Google Images and find those exact affirmations and find a way to utilize those in your life because those are really, really powerful affirmations, okay? And to be honest with you, uh, just by saying those things, even now me just reading them out loud, it reinforces good behavior, it reinforces good thoughts, and reinforces great intentions, and it also reinforces confidence in myself because I'm, I'm identifying myself as I do this, I do that, and I will do this, and I will do that. So you're identifying self consistently, and by doing that, what you're doing is you're building up this, uh, this real internal feeling that you're going to actually do these things. So it's almost like you're talking yourself really into it, not that you wouldn't have done it anyway, but it just really is a reinforcing uh, factor, okay? So say these positive affirmations out loud every single day for three, three times a day for 21 days. I also have a song online called Affirmations by Forbidden Knowledge. Look up that song. Listen to that song. I did that song because it covers so many different aspects of affirmations you know, on top of music. And so I know that when you listen to words on music, they become easy to, to memorize. I wanted a way for people to memorize these affirmations without actually um, struggling every single day to try to figure out what they want to say. And so if you memorize this song, you'll memorize the affirmations. And the next thing you know, you can speak these to yourself consistently at the drop of a dime. And you can actually give yourself that boost that you need and you actually deserve. Remember, there's nobody coming to save you but yourself. And that's the power behind affirmations. You are literally the one that becomes your own savior. Okay. So I want to just drop in here tonight and, uh, and drop that on you guys. Um, you know, didn't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Uh, and now that I have been approved for the chat, the super chat, anyone that makes donations in the super chat, that money will go to help underprivileged children. So I appreciate you guys from the yesterday's premiere of uh, one of my podcasts that went live, Biohack uh, Your Best Life. I was a co-host on that with Elizabeth Hoekstra. And we had some super chat donations, which we will be uh, buying some school supplies and dropping those off at the uh, the local pack mail so that they can get distributed to underprivileged children who need school supplies for these upcoming um, school this upcoming school year. All right. So I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you so much. Again, guys, remember to do your positive affirmations and share this information with other people. A lot of people uh, will come up to you and start having a conversation with you. And the first thing that they'll do is they'll come up with a negative statement about themselves. We're all guilty of it, including me. You have to have, they need somebody like you. They need somebody, even I need somebody that, that continuously puts me back in check and makes me realize I, my mindset on a particular thing is wrong and I need to change it in order to get a result. Somebody comes to you and they have, uh, they're consistently coming to you with bad news about themselves or they're consistently putting themselves down or they're consistently uh, doubting themselves, you need to constructively, in a nice way, in a very delicate way, tell them they need to say positive affirmation. They need to stop talking down. They need to stop feeling down. They need to stop um, doubting themselves in whatever area of their life that they are. And you need to tell them that there's affirmations and give them some, some words of healing. Give them some positive affirmations that they can start to say right away and tell them, look, you need to say these out loud because why? The cymatic frequency of you saying it out loud, it creates a cymatic frequency 
cymatic frequencies literally emanate through space, time, and alter our realities. Also, the thing about cymatic frequencies, they have a direct effect on water. And so cymatic frequencies backed by intention can alter the state of the water in your body since human beings are 70% water. So by saying these positive affirmations, you're directly affecting the, the majority of the molecules that are in your body. Okay, you're directly communicating to the molecules because water is a molecule. Okay, in case you didn't know, you're directly affecting those molecules in a positive way. Scientific studies have been done that show that saying positive affirmations or writing positive words with positive intentions on jars of water can alter the crystalline state of the actual water molecules. So with that being said, if your body is made from mostly water, right, then saying these same positive affirmations out loud with positive intent are going to alter your own molecules. And if you're teaching somebody this, it's going to help them to learn how to modify their molecules. Okay. So you have to really uh, be that support person for someone else that's talking down on themselves. That's not believing in themselves or not believing that something can happen great for them in a certain area and stop them gently and kindly, not abruptly and harsh and say, look, man, you're better than this. You got this. What you, what you need to do is just speak positive to yourself. Whatever you think and whatever you speak into the world, into the, into the ether of space time is going to become your reality. If you keep saying that you can't do something, if you keep saying that you suck, if you keep saying that, you know, you doubt this and doubt that then that's what's going to happen. Let's reverse that thinking. Let's think positive. Let's start thinking this is going to happen for you. You're going to be able to accomplish this. You're the best at this. Let's switch the way of thinking around. Let's speak it into existence. Let's, let's speak positive things to one another. You ever have a friend that contacts you and every single time that person contacts you, they have bad news? I have a friend like that. <laughs> and unfortunately, I mean, I love him. I've known him since high school. And I can't say that about many people since high school because there aren't that many of us left, unfortunately, from high school. But I um, I can't answer every single one of his calls. And he knows this. I had to text him. He texted me the other day. Can you give me a call back. And I text him and said, I can't take any bad news right now. I'm working on getting ready for my workshop. I can't have any negative input into my life at this moment. You know, I had to let him know, you know. And when I finally did get back to him on the phone, he was laughing because he knew exactly where I was coming from. And I said, man, you can't call me all the time with bad news. You have to give me positive news sometimes. I can't take all the negativity. People who always have bad news, they don't realize that they're projecting that bad news. They're creating their own bad news and serious problems by continuously talking about the problems that they have to everyone. They're literally creating a mirror and they're projecting that holographic mirror out and is duplicating and replicating over and over again as the law of attraction works in both ways. It works in positivity and it works in negativity. So if a person is always having uh, calling you or, or you see them and you say, how's it going? And they always got another sob story. They are creating that reality moment by moment by moment with their own consciousness and their own vocalization. You have to let these people know, like, you have to stop doing that. Stop contacting me only with bad news. Every time I see you, you never have anything positive to say. You have to change that around. You're creating this negative environment for yourself. It has to be, a, at a, some point, you have to realize you have to start focusing on the positivity. If you don't have any, if things are happening to you that are negative, then start looking for solutions and then focus on solutions. And instead of talking about the problem, Talk about how you fix the problem. Talk about how you create. You, there was a problem, a situation that was created that you solved and fixed. And then and you came out smelling like roses or everything worked out because you came up with this solution. You see, you got to flip things around. And when you do that, your life is going to be much better. All right. A lot, a lot better. So anyway, that's the, the word I want to drop on you guys today. Don't forget about Meditation Monday. That's going to be. Uh, Monday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put a premiere to go live up on here probably tonight. And you'll be able to uh, re get a reminder on that premiere uh, video. And I'll premiere that I'm going to be live uh, 6 a.m. on Monday morning. And then we have the global meditation. The global meditation is going to be uh, August 22nd at 2.22 p.m. for 22 minutes and 22 seconds. And that meditation is going to be a meditation for peace and healing. 
And so that meditation, you can go to four bitted knowledge with the number four, four bitted knowledge dot com and click on workshops. And that meditation will pop up. You can register right there or on this YouTube account. You can find the premiere for the global meditation and you can put the reminder on on this exact here, this YouTube account right here. The global meditation is set for a premiere for August 22nd at 2 2 2 p.m. For 22 minutes and 22 seconds, a full guided meditation by me. Okay. I appreciate you guys. I see all the positive, great comments. I love every single one of y'all. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be a part of this community. I'm glad that you, are, that you guys have decided to follow uh, this account and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please share this video with someone who needs to hear this, who needs to know more about affirmations. You may have not been able to find a way to reach them or talk to them in any kind of way to get them to understand that they need to change the way that they're they're talking to themselves and the way they see the world. Share the share this video with them. Maybe my words can be a little bit more encouraging. Sometimes if you hear something from the same person too many times, uh, they kind of ignore it, you know, kind of like how you can tell your kid something so many times. And all of a sudden a stranger comes up and says the same thing and they and they and they run with it. They believe it and they actually execute behind it. So. Uh, it could be the fact that maybe sometimes you're hearing your same voice over and over again. All right. So share this video with with everyone and encourage them to like and subscribe to the account. I'm going to pop in here a lot more, a lot more lives in between my podcasts and just jump on here and start talking and trying to share and spread some knowledge and some wisdom and understanding. Um, I tried to go live a couple of times earlier. I apologize if those didn't work out. There were some connectivity issues, but luckily this time I was able to get a smooth connection and hop on here and uh, bring you guys a word tonight, all right? So I appreciate you guys. Again, I'm going to run now because I got to hop on Instagram Live sh shortly, uh, but I wanted to make sure and let you guys know, look for my notifications because I will be going live on this account a lot more and just kind of dropping in. I may set some type of a live schedule, even though it's kind of hard to stick to that live schedule just because my days are so hectic with my, with my normal schedule. But uh, maybe there's specific days where I can say, look, for sure, on this day, I'm going live to talk about this particular thing. And uh, that way you can, you know, you have something to look forward to. Other than that, the podcast comes out every Friday, every Thursday, I'm sorry, at 8 p.m. and every Friday at 8 p.m. So Thursday and Friday, we have two podcasts that drop every week. And we're adding another one very, very soon. So there'll be three podcasts a week. And eventually, I'm hoping to have at least five to six podcasts dropping every single week. So there'll be a new podcast dropping almost per day, which is going to be phenomenal on phenomenal, great topics that I know you guys are going to get a lot of information, a lot of information, a lot of self-knowledge, a lot of self-help, positivity, understanding, and creativity out of. Okay. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. I, I, I love y'all. Again, I see all the great comments. I wish I can respond to every single one of y'all. So many comments, but uh, just know I see them. And I appreciate y'all. And I and I'm I'm putting together um, a super chat uh, giveaway that I'm going to be doing soon. We're still working on it, where people in the super chat are going to be able to get uh, who you know who make super chat donations are going to be able to get something, uh, whether it's a t-shirt, a hat, or something else. We're working on that now. We just want to continue to spread the love back to everyone who's helping out people in this world. All right. So I'll catch y'all later, man. I, I'm going to hop on this next. Um, this next live pretty soon. I'll see y'all on Instagram. Now I got to figure out how to end this thing. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. End stream. <laughs> it's crazy.